Hi everyone, uh, this is Rijraj and in this video I'm going to talk about Firebase authentication, especially custom authentications. Uh, like we have an email and password and we want to register so we can register with Firebase authentications, we can log in with Firebase authentication and all. So how we can implement custom authentication with Firebase? So first, uh, these are the few steps. First, we have to create a new project on Firebase and then go to the authentication and then enable the email password authentication methods. And then you have to create a new web app with in your Firebase dashboard. And then you have to copy the SDK and then you have to implement the logic. For implementing uh, email password authentication, so, so there are few methods. First we method, we have to use create user with email and password. Here you have to pass email and add password. So basically this method is used for creating a user in Firebase. If the user is already created, then we can use the login method. So there is a method sign in with email and password. And in this method, we have to pass email ID and password. That's it. So for creating a user, we have to use create method. And for signing a, uh, signing a user, we have to use sign in method. And the third one is for checking the state, whether the user is logged in or not. So we can call on auth state change method. And the last one, we can use sign out method for user logged out purpose. And also there are a lot of methods in Firebase authentications. So we can use uh, auth.current user. It will give the current user details. And also we can update the email. We can also update the password uh, with these methods like update email and update password. So now I'm gonna share the demo how we can implement uh, Firebase authentication with email and password. So this is an example uh, for sign up page. Here we have email and password. So we'll type email and we'll add password and then sign up for creating account. So now it says in console that you are signed in, uh, you are logged in successfully. So now there, there is a details about this email and uh, there is a UID and uh, right now I haven't added the photo URL. So now uh, I already uh, logged in. If I log in in two times, so it will say that you, this email ID is already used by another account. So I'm, I have logged created my I will log in this page so for login I'll need to type the email ID and password and in the console here yeah so I have successfully logged in with this email ID and uh, my account is logged in so now I can log out so log out successfully so we will do how we can implement this thing. So this is my Firebase uh, project. So now I'll go to the authentication and then uh, I will enable the sign in method. Click on the get started button. And then enable to the email and password authentication. Now we'll go to the VS code editor. So this is my VS code editor. I will create a new file let's say for the login uh, sign up page so i'll type sign up.html and then we'll add standard html template and then we'll go to the firebase and we'll copy the firebase sdk's uh, library in this page we'll go to the project overview and then setting click on project setting and then scroll down and here you will get the CDN file and we will copy this code and we will paste it here. Now I want to add Firebase authentication SDK. So we'll go to the documentation and getting started for web and there is a button uh, available libraries and we will copy the CDN for Firebase authentication. After Firebase core CDN and that's it. So for sign up page, we will create a div element and we will add 
normal h3 this is for sign up page and then we will create a input element input box this one is for email type is equal to email and we'll add a placeholder type your email and we'll assign an id let's say id is email for getting a data uh, from this input box and similarly this one is for the password we'll add a placeholder so enter your password and we'll assign an id let's say id is password and similarly we will add a br tag and we'll add a button and we'll assign an id this one is for the sign up page uh, sign up and we'll write sign up okay so first we need to click perform actions when the user will click on this uh, sign up button which have an id is sign up so we will write a logic so we'll write document dot get element by id and then we will pass this id button id and we will pass action listener and the event name is click and then we'll call a functions so sign up sign up user so this is my function so we will create a function sign up or i will copy this here and that's it so we will call this functions so what do i want to do first we'll check console.log whether the button is working or not so we'll add calling so we'll go to the browser i will open uh, the sign up page and go to the console and yeah so this is my page so first i will add email id or something i haven't write the logic but yeah i just wanted to check so this button is working properly so now i'll go to the code editor so now what we want we will do uh, we will get the email id and password so we'll write let email is equal to document dot get element by id and we will pass the email id and we'll get the value of this email id and similarly is for the password and this one is for document dot get element by id and this one is for password and dot value okay so this is a email id and password of this field now I need to create a user for creating a user uh, we will write firebase dot I'm using authentication and there is a method uh, create user with email and email and password so here we will pass email and password and this is a JavaScript promise so it will uh, successfully execute it otherwise if there is an issue so we will handle in catch block and it will return some callback so we will print with console.log e okay so this is the logic we have written uh, right now um, when the user is successfully signed up now i need to check the state of the user so we'll write firebase.auth and there is a method on auth state change so it will return a user callback and we will check if the user is available or exist so we will print user with console.log and user else we can print nothing like this is a log uh, uh, create account screen so if the user is successfully created their account we can showcase the details so this is it so i'll go to the browser yeah so i will reload and i will add email id and i will add the password one two three four five six let's say password name uh, so i'll click on yeah so user is successfully created and this is an email id right now i haven't added the display name 
email is verified right now email is not verified and there are a lot of details like phone number photo url and all and there is also a uid we can use uh, for uh, in database like auth for authentication authenticated user or something like that now i can go to the firebase console and then go to the authentications so here is the details like this is a user id i have created my account on this date sign in last sign in and the user id so this is how we can implement of uh, on uh, how we can implement sign up page uh, with email and password now i'm going to show you how we can implement a login page now now i will create a login page and will copy the logic for the sign up and paste it here so i will change a few things like this development can can be considered as a uh, login screen and we this page is for the login we have email id and password and we'll change the id this one is for the login button and we'll add or uh, change the login yeah and we'll create another development for, for the dashboard so we'll assign id this one is can dashboard and then we have two sections first one is for the user details and we'll add another button for the logout so we'll create a id logout btn we'll add logout now i will call the event listener on this button so i will replace the event listener and i will change the functions name so my functions name should be a uh, login user and we will replace the login user with this and we've got the email id and password now i will i need to log in so for implementing a login we have a method sign in with email and password and inside will pass email and app password that's it and this is uh, the logic for the lo uh, login now the login screen should be visible and dashboard should be the hidden uh, if the user is not logged out so we need to implement that logic so we'll write document dot get element by id we'll pass the id login screen and then we'll add style dot display so initially login screen should be visible so we'll add block and similarly for the dashboard we use this email uh, id this id and then we'll add none because by default the dashboard should be hidden now so if the user is successfully logged in so what i want to do i want to so the details about the user so login screen should be uh, should not be visible and this should be visible and then we need to call a function for printing the user details so we can create a function for printing show user details and here i will pass user we did this uh, in previous video so we'll write document dot get element by id inside id i will pass uh, the id is user details and then we'll add event add inner html we will use this symbol for creating a multi line string here i will add paragraph element 
here we can say login log in success with the email id your email id like we can print dollar symbol curly braces and user is a object and email is a property so we can print user dot email and we can call this method here will pass user that's it and if the user is not logged in so we can do we can like the login screen should be visible and dashboard should be hidden now we can also implement the button for logic for the logout button so this is the logic for the logout button so we'll do the same thing like document dot get element by id here i will add a logic like add event listener uh, logout user okay so now i need to call this function so we'll write a function logout user that's it and this is the same logic we have we did this in previous video like firebase dot auth then we have a method sign out and this is a javascript uh, promises so we need to handle in catch block or then block so so this one is for the user is logged out successfully otherwise if there is any issue we can print in catch block console.log e for the catch block so this one is this will be the same logic for user is logged out yeah that's it so overall i'm going to show you like we have created a notive element first one is for the login screen and second one is for the dashboard so inside login development we have email and password there is a button login and in the dashboard we have two sections first one is for the user details and second one is for the button so we have created a action listener for the login and logout button uh, the id is same i think yeah so we need to replace this id so we have login lo uh, logic for the login and this one this one is for the logout user and we have implemented the logic and all so i will go to the browser i have opened login page now we'll enter the email id and enter the password and click on the login button so yeah so i have logged in successfully with uh, this email id so if i reload this page and after some time i'll uh, this will be visible because uh, on state change method is working properly. So when I click on the logout button, so logout button is working properly. So this is how we have implemented the logic for custom authentication. So uh, there is a, a lot of more methods. You can just go to the documentation and you will get to know about uh, like update email and update password. There is a method you can implement it. And if you have any questions, you can comment your questions in the chat sections or uh, comment sections. I would love to answer them. And this is our social media presence. If you have if you have any query, you can reach us on this platform. And thank you so much and see you in the next video.